If you need a clean installation of router OS, you want to use NetInstall. It is our tool to perform an installation over the Ethernet cable. You can use it even if you forgot the password or the system is no longer booting. The simple way to do it is to use the GUI version which is designed for Windows but can also be run on Linux with the help of the Wine tool. If you want to use the graphical interface, we have a video on that. I suggest you go and watch that instead. In this one, we will be using the CLI version designed for Linux. First, go to our downloads page and get your RouterOS NPK file along with the netinstall CLI Linux version from the general section if you haven't done so already. So first, we need to set the IP of our computer's interface to be from the same network as our board and we also need to make sure that the network interface is enabled. I'm going to use a simple one-line command to do both of those things. sudo if config followed by the interface name followed by 192.168.88.2 slash 24 and followed by up. This sets the address and enables the interface. Next we can run the net install. sudo dot slash net install CLI followed by the R flag which is going to reset the current configuration followed by the A flag and the address of our board. After that we pick the location of the NPK file. That starts the net install server so we're ready to hold the reset button and power on our device. Simply wait a minute or two for the process to be done. Other flags that we could have used are K if we wanted to apply a license key or S if we wanted to apply our own configuration instead of the default one. To finish this off, here is one more tip about netinstall in general. To initiate the installation we had to hold down the reset button. But if you are in a situation where you can't press it or it doesn't work for whatever reason, you still have the option to change the boot device to try Ethernet once, then NAND to either the serial console or if you can still log on the device, go to the system router board settings section and change the boot device there. Then shut down and on the next power up, net install will be initiated if there is an active server detected.